Hi YouTube, my name is Ezekiel Kevin Annan. Welcome to my brand new video on my approach to editing images. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And also don't forget to hit the bell icon so you become the first to get new notification videos. Feel free to also share with your friends and those you think this will be of a great help to them. Thank you. Now let's go straight into the editing. In today's video, I'll be doing it in four parts. In the first part, I'll show you some quick keyboard shortcuts to facilitate your workflow in Photoshop. These tools are changing brushes, percentage, opening of canvases, repeating actions and commands, and creating layers. I'll show you how to edit natural light images. I'll equally explain why I prefer to use the patch tool and then healing, spot healing brush at what time do I use them. In the second part of the video, I'll share with you how to create basic adjustments in camera raw, creating and saving presets in camera raw to speed up your workflow. I'll show you step by step approach to effectively using the patch tool and healing brush tools. In the third part of the video, I'll focus on my frequency separation. I prefer to use dust and scratches technique than any other technique. This technique can also be used to maintain a great deal of the texture on the skin. It's an extremely easy process for both amateurs and advanced photographers if it is done in the right way. In the fourth and final part of the video, I'll be teaching you how to use dodge and bend technique and finishing up the image with color grading and toning. Thank you for your time and do enjoy this video. This is the final image that we are going to arrive at. But before that, let's open the original image. Whilst it's opening, in this episode, I'm going to show you some basic um, adjustments and quick quick keyboard shortcuts. We can already see that this image has some great details, but it also has some um, distractions in terms of stray hairs. So I'm going to show you some keyboard shortcuts that will facilitate your editing process. First of all, let's start with the foreground and then background. If you need to change foreground, background, you need to toggle between them. The keyboard can be of a good use to you by just pressing X on your keyboard. It will toggle them from foreground to background, from foreground to background. It will, that's how it's going to do it. If you mistakenly change the color of the background to any color. What you just do is that you just press on the D to reset it back to the default. Now you see the image has some details in it. We have some places that we are going to deal with. By pressing on the B on your keyboard, you activate the brush and you realize that the brush key has other shortcut keys. So for instance, it has all B. What it means is that if you need to open any of them, that's what you need to do. You press on the B to open. And in your brush size, you can make it bigger by increasing the bracket keys. Again, dealing with the issue of opacity and then flow what you could do is that on your keyboard when you hit whilst you are, your hand is on shift and then you press any number for instance you press 8 it will give you 80 percent of a flow and when it comes to the opacity instead of typing it there you could equally just press 80 90 40 20 on your keyboard but when you press 0, 04 it will give you 4%. Zero, 09 it will give you 9%. So that's how it works, both for the flow. Now we go into the patch tool. Patch tool is very effective. You can also equally access it with um, the keyboard. So by pressing on the J, you're able to access the patch tool. But one of the things is that if you want to look at the other options under the patch to section. You keep your hand on shift 
and then you toggle between them by pressing J continuously. Once you press J and your hand is on shift, it keeps changing the options. It, it goes to content hour, it goes to patch two, then it moves to red eye. That's how it is. So that's one of the keyboard shortcuts that you can really keep. So now I want to show you how to duplicate. Normally by duplicating you drag the layer and then you put it on the duplicate icon. It duplicates. But the keyboard can also effectively do that for you. By just pressing on Ctrl J how the layer is selected. Layer you want to duplicate. So Ctrl J duplicates it for you. You can use the keyboard with a help of a click to actually create a mask. What you do is that you put your hand on Alt whilst you click on the mask and then it creates an inverted mask. Now we have a mas mask that you are supposed to use a, a brush of black to paint. So now let me just change the blend mode of the upper image so that when we paint on the mask we can see the difference in terms of how to reveal or use the mask. So now multiply gives me a very contrasted image. So while the mask is there I need to toggle my foreground and background color to black so I can paint on the white mask. So this is what is happening. I'm painting on the white mask So gradually you make you paint it just to cover all the places that now let me delete the mask and let's create an inverted mask on this one. By pressing on Alt and clicking, it creates an inverted mask. Well, how the mask is created? Now instead of painting with black, now we need to paint with white because the mask that we have is black. So this is just a quick painting just to show you how to create a layer, how to create a mask on it and then paint to reveal whatever you are trying to reveal. So you can see the difference. So whenever the, you are using inverted layer, you are going to paint on it using the white. And whenever you are using layer with a mask that is not inverted, you paint it black. Now let me delete this mask and then equally, uh, let's see, let me delete the top layer as well. While the top layer is deleted, I need to show you another quick tool. Equally, you can see the shortcut here, Con Alt Control I gives you the image dialog box. So if you are conversant with the keyboard, you just hold put your hand on Alt, Control and press the I and then it can do equally the same thing for you. So you can change the size of the image by typing any size like 3000 and then just pressing OK or just hitting the Enter key. How that is done? The other thing that I would also want to point to you is that you see you can equally go back by using Ctrl Z to resend it back to the original size. The next thing I will show you is how to bring up the canvas. If you need to add another canvas extension to your original canvas, you can go to image and then bring out the canvas. Equally when you put your hand on Alt Ctrl C, it pops up the canvas dialog box where you are, you are able to put in your canvas details. So for instance, if you click on the left, what it means I want to add a section to the right. When you click on the top, you want to add canvas space to the, the bottom, the down part of the image. So you are in percentage, you just do it 200% on the height level. You want to add it to the, the down part and click OK. You see that we have added the same size of an image canvas to this whole one layer. 
So the same size of image is duplicated, but this time without the image, we have only a canvas extension of the same size of the image. That's one of the very quickest way of when you want to use it for before and after. You could just do that for your before and after. So this this first part of the tutorial, I just want to keep it simple. So we'll continue to the next stage. Thank you.